Hey, I'm Vanessa Hudgens, and I play Emily in Powerless. Emily is fresh out of business school, and she is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed to change the world. She sees a new opportunity to become a boss at Wayne Security, and she gets a bit more than she bargained for. There's definitely a clash of personalities, but she just wants to raise everyone up. I was so excited to be a part of Powerless. My favorite kind of TV show to watch is a workspace comedy. I think it's just so fun and lighthearted, and Powerless has a whole new twist on that genre. We have superheroes, we have supervillains, and we're fitting into a world that is a little left to center than the reality we live in today. Growing up, I was definitely the girly girl. I was more of the dancer and the singer than the comic book reader. But with that being said, I loved Catwoman, and I used to dress up as Catwoman every day, so she's definitely an alter ego of mine. Emily is brand new to Charm City. She grew up in a much smaller town, so the whole superhero, supervillain thing is very new to her, and she's kind of taking it all as it comes. I love that our show takes place at Wayne Securities because it's such a fun twist on the Wayne Foundation, Batman, as we know it. It's Wayne's it's Bruce Wayne's cousin, Van Wayne, who runs Wayne Security. And it's not as great as the Wayne Foundation. It's definitely a different vibe. No one really cares about changing in the world. And I think it's going to be really fun to see how Emily can step in and impact the people she works with and helps inspire them to be better. I think people will relate to my character because we've all felt like the underdog. There's been times where we've gone into situations where we feel like we can do anything and the reality of it sets in and there's a lot more to deal with than you expect, but that's life. Um, so I think that people will really be able to bond with that. When Emily gets handed lemons, she makes lemonade. She always tries to see the best in situations, but the, her coworkers definitely ruffle her feathers. I think the audiences are really gonna be drawn to this show because it's just a feel good, make you laugh, make you root for your heroes kind of show. I think that you're just gonna be able to enjoy a nice escape and a funny journey. I'm so excited to be a part of DC Comics' first comedy because it's just a brand new take on this genre. So much of the time, it's about the superhero and their struggle, but it's never about the normal person and their struggle. So it's a complete 180 on the superhero worlds as we normally see them. I think the passionate fans of DC Comics are going to go crazy over this show because it's like they're going to be able to step into our characters and live the lives that they would actually live if they were living in a DC universe. It takes the fantasy out of it and puts them into the reality of it. I love playing Emily so much because I feel like so much of the time I have to play a character that's so different from myself. But playing Emily is so close to home for me because she's so enthusiastic, she's super bubbly, and she really tries to see the positive in life. And that's how I feel like I live. So it's nice to be able to bring that spirit and energy to set every day. It's been really amazing seeing what Justin and Patrick have done with this show. It's, it's really taken a turn, but for the better. I think that it being set at Wayne Securities is going to be a really fun step in seeing how a sinking business can turn into something glorious. Um, the characters, I think, have just evolved so much. There's so much spunk and care. Everyone's a comedian. All the characters are comedians, and it's so amazing. I think that they've just done such a good job at putting together the pieces of a puzzle that really work. 
So for the pilot, I am so excited for the audiences to see Emily meet her first superhero. Uh, there is a moment where her train that she's riding to work ends up in the middle of a battle and the train is caught by Crimson Fox. Um, it's just a really fun moment seeing her meet her first superhero. I think audiences are really gonna fall in love with our show because of the world it's set in. It's so much fun seeing what it would be like to actually live in a world full of superheroes and supervillains. And they're gonna keep coming back week after week because you kind of fall in love with the characters. All the characters are so sweet, have such good hearts, and are so funny. I would tune in every week. I love my cast so much. They're so amazing. Alan Tudyk is literally a comedic genius. I don't know how he does it. I asked him today how he does it, and he said he doesn't know, but he does. Um, Ron is just amazing. I love that his name is Ron, and he's playing Ron. He's just like a teddy bear. He's just the sweetest human. Um, Danny Pudi is so great. He's so much fun. The two of us together on set, I swear to God, we turn into five-year-olds. Like, it feels like playtime. Um, everyone's just so amazing. So amazing. Emily is brand new to Charm City. She's fresh out of business school. She has a brand new job, her very first job, and she's a boss, and she wants to change the world. Whereas her coworkers are a bit jaded. They've lived in Charm City for a while. They've been dealing with the supers for far too long. So it's really funny seeing the contrast between the two. I live a super life without superpowers by smiling every day and being positive because you really have a choice to your happiness in life and I feel like if you make the right choices, you can't have a super life. One of the main themes of the show is you don't have to have powers in order to be powerful.